Today I'm going to talk to you about how to repot a cactus. I'm going to show you two methods that we use here at Groovy Plants Ranch. Our first method is going to be our kitchen tongue method. And before I start planting, I want to say that we do not recommend ever using gloves. No matter how thick the leather is, the spines will go through and it will hurt and then your gloves will be ruined. So we use kitchen tongs or um, some old paper bags. So I'll show you what to do. First, you want to make sure you pick out the right pot and um, make sure that it's the appropriate size for your cactus. and Again, we recommend you have a hole for drainage in the bottom. We always recommend drainage at Groovy Plants Ranch. Then um, make sure that you have your soil ready in your pot before you move your cactus out of its container. Because once it's out, you've got the spiky thing. You don't want to have to mess with it. You need to have the place you're putting it ready to go. So I'm using kitchen tongs. Squeeze it out of the pot. And then I'm going to put it right in. And then I'm going to hold the tongs while I use my trowel to fill around and kind of get in between root ball that was already there and the side of the pot. So that's the first method with kitchen tongs. Sometimes you have a cactus that's a little bit harder to do with kitchen tongs because it's a little bit too big. Like this mass is pretty difficult to hold on to with my kitchen tongs. And this is when you want to get your brown paper bag or other scrap paper. So again, you want to first make sure you have enough soil in the bottom of your pot ready for your cactus. And you can sort of make sure it's the right height. And then you can take some scrap paper and I'm going to crumple it. And then use it to wrap around your cactus so that you're not actually touching the cactus. Squeeze and your pot should slide out. And this way, you're not getting any spines in your hand because you have the crumpled paper, and also the crumpled paper can be discarded afterwards so you're not ruining um, something that you need to reuse. Then, once it's in place, you may want to get your kitchen tongs out again to kind of hold it and then fill around until you have it nice and perfectly potted up. That's it. Two methods to pot up your cactus without hurting your hands or ruining your gloves. Kitchen togs or discarded paper.